often overlooked and just as important are adequate air movement and proper plant spacing. Adequate air circulation, think gentle breeze, not gale force winds, is required to dry moisture from the leaves and flowers. If conditions are wet and humid and circulation is poor, the plant may take up water faster than it can use it. Good air circulation is also important to help prevent fungal and bacterial infection. Proper plant spacing helps to aid in air circulation. Preventing your orchid leaves and flowers from touching adjacent orchids as they can trap a thin layer of moisture between them, which is beneficial for fungal or bacterial growth. Plants should be given just enough space so that there is no prolonged touching of leaves and flowers. This is also important to help prevent the movement of infection from one plant to another. The right amount of light is essential for maintaining plant growth and encouraging reflowering of your orchid. High light levels lead to leaves that are yellowish in color and in some cases can cause scorching of the leaves. This scorching first appears as white patches on uppermost leaves, which eventually turn brown. Extreme cases of scorching can kill the plant. Yellowish leaves caused by high light levels are easily remedied by moving the plant to a slightly shadier spot. Low light levels typically won't kill the plant, but it is the most common reason people fail to rebloom their orchids. In this scenario, plant leaves are typically dark green and the plant fails to reflower during its normal blooming season. The ideal leaf color should be an even medium green. Slowly increase the light level over a couple of months by introducing the plant to slightly brighter conditions until the desired leaf color is recognized. In Phalaenopsis, low light levels can also lead to soft, floppy, elongated leaves. In conclusion, most orchid problems are preventable. Keep your growing area clean, space your plants well, and make sure they have adequate air circulation. There really is no magic to growing orchids successfully. Just a little know-how and some experience is all you need.